Good day my senior friends. Today I have a build for an item that can be found just about everywhere. Pallets. Wood pallets. They come in all sizes to transport freight and products. In my structure building I've found it hard to find a wood that is thin enough and also sturdy enough to make pallets. So I use plastic. I recycle the old credit cards that come in the mail. Or a sheet of styrene works just as well. You can cut the styrene to the dimensions that fit your model scale. 3 by 3 foot or 4 by 4 foot, also 2 foot by 3 foot are some common pallet sizes. I will cut the slats fairly random, meaning I'm not too concerned with exact sizing. I want the pallets to look like they've been used over and over and maybe even been repaired. I will cut a quantity of slats and rails and then I can select the right pieces for each pallet I build. If you find value in this video, please subscribe to the channel and share it. One of the things about pallets that I wanted to mention was you can Pallets are different than skids. Pallets have oops, a top and a bottom. You can use them on either side. Whereas a skid is only has slats on one side and runners on the bottom. So <clears throat> even though you can buy pallets, and these are very nice, these are from my friends over at uh, Showcase Miniatures. Check them out. But these pallets are slats on both sides. They have slats on, on both sides, you can see. And I'm dealing in just in, in skids that only have slats on one side and runners on, on the bottom. So that's what I'm making is is skids not not necessarily pallets but uh, let's make one that uh, just has had a real hard day a hard life I found some beat up looking uh, runners here and put them on and uh, just lay them every way shouldn't have got clear one there we go there's a dark side so you can see it this one here looks like it was split it was wide here and then got split and broken. We'll even give them a little bit of an angle. There's another one that's kind of different sizes. And then this one has just a big curve in it. I wish they don't make them with a curve, but this one got a big barrel of oil dropped on it. And it just bent, broke this slat right there. So you can see, they do not, you can make them so they're not perfect. And, and that's what I wanted, is some that have had their share of work, their share of, of life experiences here. Here's one I made earlier, missing a slat. And that's fine, he's a little bit bigger also. He's carrying a huge load. So hats off to him for being such a good servant. Here are a few of the pallets after they've been painted. I enjoy adding these little details to my model railroad. 
it can work on a diorama just as well. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.